so over the last four weeks, um, Dean and I <laughs> moved across the country into the f our new space in the factory in upstate New York. And we've been uh, day by day demoing the entire wooden floor that used to be here. This is all a slate foundation. Uh, and over time, the 12 by 12 timbers and the two by 10 joists have rotted and have kind of caved in. So we've been slowly taking all of this material out load by load and prepping for the space to have a concrete floor. So it's gonna be incredibly exciting. It's been an insane amount of work, <laughs> but it's also really neat to reveal how this was all built. Early on in our renovation, Dina and I came to terms with the idea that there often isn't a right way to start a project. In a strange way, renovation lends itself nicely to this thinking. You simply put your hands into the work, and then you make adjustments as you go. For example, say you want to remove more of the garbage from the pit inside of your floor. You could hire a team of people to help, or you could use a lawnmower, a ratchet strap, and a utility cart. Our initial approach in the floor demo was to remove the floor board by board and salvage what we could. At the start, we used a glorified garden hoe that we found on the property to pry up the flooring into manageable sections. Once the flooring was removed from a section, we used a chainsaw to cut between the joists, removing the subfloor. This method seemed pretty effective, but it was really slow, and we would hit nails on occasion, dull chainsaw blades, and we knew there had to be a faster way to get this floor out. So instead of playing subfloor whack-a-mole, we moved on to a new option, aptly named the Sasquatch. If you know me personally, you'll know I don't like tools. I love them. This saw allowed us to slice through both the flooring and the subflooring in one pass between the joists. This created manageable flooring panels that we could take outside and stack. Once the majority of the flooring was out, we could concentrate on destroying, or not, the support beams underneath. When we were towards the front of the space, we concentrated on demoing the old office to make room for a garage door opening. We saved every piece of paneling that we could to use in our eventual home upstairs. It took us nearly five weeks, but we eventually removed the entire first floor. This was a true community effort. Without the help of our friends and family, I don't know that we could have done this. It was likely the most genuine form of a homecoming that Dina and I have ever experienced. In the next video, you'll witness the space transform into the workshop we've always dreamed of. Follow along if you can. <laughs>